So I just lost this quarter's safety bonus. Stand by to find out why. And my luck continues. Now I'm sitting on the side of IL-47, waiting on maintenance to get back to me as to what to do. I left the uh, Menards Distribution Center here in Plano, Illinois. Did my pre-trip on the trailer. Everything was good. Started rolling. Everything was good. Got out of the gate, onto the road. ABS light comes on, so I pull over in the in the turn in the middle turn lane. Flashers on, of course. Send a message to the non-emergency Macro 40 maintenance. They say, uh, you know, if you're if you're willing and able to to roll with it, you can because it's. It should just be that uh, I have no ABS brakes, so you know just keep that in mind when braking. Uh, but it's not necessarily an emergency, so I said, okay, yeah, I'll roll with it. Uh, about a mile down the road, it feels like my brakes are on when I take my foot off the uh, accelerator. It it bogs down. Like the brakes are on. Uh, what, from what I can tell, all the trailer wheels are turning. It's not like anything's frozen and I'm dragging tires. Uh, and I go to make a right turn, and it darn near wants to stop the truck, and the truck just starts shaking really bad. So here I am. I pulled over immediately put my three emergency triangles out, got the hazards on, messaged uh, maintenance again, so asking what to do, just he told me to hit tight, sit tight, I'm going to talk to somebody and see what's going to go on, so uh, I'm running out of my 70 hour clock. I mean, I have about eight hours left until I need to do a reset, so. So you want to be a trucker, huh? It's just frustrating, man. It's frustrating. It's one thing after another. But there's a reason for everything look back in hindsight and find something positive from this, but as of right now, it's just so frustrating, man, just, but I'll check back in and let you guys know what, uh, what the verdict is, what we're going to do. All right, so figured out one of the two problems, figured out why it felt like the brakes were on. They were. I mean, the brakes weren't on, but the right trailer tandems uh, were still frozen. The reason I couldn't tell is when I pulled the trailer out of the Menards Distribution Center, their entire lot was snow and ice covered. So it felt, I, I couldn't feel the dragging. Uh, only when I got out here to the road, where it, where the roads uh, just wet, did it start, you know, feeling like the brakes were on. And then when I made that right turn, uh, and it almost stopped. That's, you know, that's when I pulled over. But uh, checking it a little bit further, 
you know, I took a mallet to the drums, brake drums, and uh, it uh, it broke free. But during my uh, during my pre-trip, I don't know. I, I, just, I just couldn't tell, you know, because the the air brakes were set because you know, I just hadn't released them yet when I did the pre-trip. So now the the tires the, the tire treads have been flattened a little bit, uh, not all the way down to the wires or anything. But um, so I'm just I sent pictures in to, to maintenance for them to look at and waiting to hear back to see if uh, I'm good to roll on them or not. But man, I'm just sitting here thinking how how could I have prevented that and you know, I'm so careful with everything I just <clears throat> I don't know if I really could have because there was there was no way to to see because even through the mirrors I mean you can't tell if the tires are rolling or not unless you're turning and there was just no indication until now that ah. so I just hope this doesn't take away from my safety bonus I mean, but we'll see it is what it is but the ABS light is still on so that's still an issue um, so we'll see what they say I'll let you know so maintenance received the pictures um, they got back to me and said it's safe to roll uh, for now. So I dropped the trailer at uh, the next shipper, which was only a 30 minute drive. Uh, luckily, it was a drop and hook, so I sent them a message telling them where it was located because they, they wanted to know if I was uh, if I was going to drop it or if I was taking a load with it, but. So I dropped the empty trailer, told them where it's at, and so they're aware of it now. All right, so let's sum this up. <clears throat> really uh, upset at myself about this. I mean, it is stupid. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm speechless, I guess. I really do try to cross my T's and dot my I's, but Everybody makes mistakes. This isn't going to be the last one. Uh, so, just pick myself back up and keep the wheels turning. Um, but, I want to read what they wrote me. So, uh, I said, this is from Dan Millis. He's the one of the Millis brothers, and he's the safety director. Um, he said, this is a written warning and will become a part of your personnel file. Today you were involved in an accident that was determined to be preventable. Uh, flat spotted tire near Plano, Illinois. This is a violation of the Millis Speed Reward Program. Your speed will be adjusted according to the rules of the program. Further violations of company policy may result in suspension or termination. Signed, Dan Millis. So, I mean, I, my, I was already governed at 66, so I guess starting now, going to start a full year of staying at 66, whereas, you know, a date from a higher, if you didn't have any preventables, you would be bumped up to 70, so I guess I'm staying at 66. Uh, also, like I said, losing this quarter's um, safety bonus, which, you know, it's usually a couple hundred bucks, so Expensive lesson to learn, but uh, I'll learn from it, pick myself up, and keep them wheels turning, turn it into a positive somehow, so, alright guys, appreciate you watching, until next time, see you later.